Hi guys, this is Team Manoj Kumar. Now I'm going to explain about factors of a given positive integer. See, I wrote hash into std over rh. It is also known as pre parser command or header file. Okay. Now I wrote int main. Int main is nothing but main function. Main function like the program is start from main function only. Okay. Now I wrote int n comma i. Here n comma i are variables of integer data type. I declare them just I not initialize any values to them. Okay. After that I wrote printf statement printf and n values. Okay, I wrote scanner percentile d and absent n. After that printf factors of percentile d are okay. After that I wrote for loop for i is equal to 1. Here I initialize the value of i as 1. After that I have a condition like i is less than or equal to n. It is not but a condition in the loop. Okay. After that s plus i. S plus i is nothing but pre-increment. Pre-increment the value of i. After that I wrote if state if condition statement in that n percentile i is equal to 0 the condition in the if after that i wrote printf percentile d comma i okay after that i wrote return 0 return 0 is for success of int main hmm? now let's go into the program means process c initially the value of i is equal to 1 so now let's check the condition 1 is less than or equal to 6 yes the condition is satisfied We'll go to if one person sorry six percentile i is equal to zero means if we divide those those numbers we'll get the remainder as zero yes we'll get so it can the condition is satisfied the it will print the value as one in the output screen again the value of i will be two because we use increment operator okay 2 is less than or equal to 6. Yes, the condition will be satisfied. It will go to if. It will check the condition. 6 percentile 2 is equal to 0. Yes, it will satisfy. Again, it will print the value of i is equal to 2 in output screen. Okay. Now, again, the i will be increment. The value of i is 3. 3 is less than or equal to 6. Yes, the condition is satisfied. It will go into if. 6 percentile 3 is equal to 0 yes it will print the value of i it is nothing but thing now the i value will be increment now the i value will be 4 it will check the condition 4 is less than or equal to 6 yes the condition is satisfied it will go to if 6 percentile 4 is equal to 0 no it will not give the remainder as 0 so condition is false it will come out now the value of i will be incremented the value of i will be 5 which will check the condition for loop 5 is less than or equal to 6 yes the condition is satisfied now it will go to if 6 percent of 5 is equal to 0 no it is not equal to 0 so it will not print the values of i is equal to 5 now the i will be again increment here see 6 less than or equal to 6 the condition will be satisfied it will go to if 6 potential 6 percentile 6 is equal to 0 yes the condition is satisfied it will print value 6 in the output screen no the i will be agree increment no the value of i will be 7 it will take the condition in the for loop 7 less than or equal to 7 sorry 7 less than or equal to 6 no so the condition is false statement the condition is false i forgot to say that uh, the value of n we gave as 6 i want to know the value factors of 6 so i gave the value of 6 okay so 7 less than or equal to 6 the condition is false it will come out of the for loop return 0 now what you are expecting the output for the values the factors of 6 are 1 2 3 and 6 
I am expecting that dot output. What you are expecting? No, I am compiling scene. Okay. Compile. Here I am giving the value as enter n value. I am giving six. Okay, I give. No, I will get the answer scene. Factors of six are one, two, three, six. Okay. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if the video is nice, like it and share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel.